section 7.1, Fundamental Trigonometric Identities. In this first section, we're looking at the basic trig identities that we're going to need to know. Chapter 7 is all about trig identities, using trig identities to simplify trigonometric equations, and also solving or proving trig identities. Our first set are the reciprocal identities. And you should already remember from chapter 6 that cosecant is 1 over sine, secant is 1 over cosine. This means that sine is 1 over cosecant, because cosecant and sine are reciprocals of each other. Cosine is 1 over secant. And then for a tangent and cotangent, cotangent is 1 over tangent which means tangent is 1 over cotangent. Essentially, each of these pairs are reciprocals of each other. The next set are the quotient identities. The quotient identities only apply to tangent and cotangent, and it's because tangent can be written as the, equation, the quotient of sine over cosine, and cotangent is cosine over sine. So those are your very, very basic identities that we've already seen before. Next, we're going to talk about cofunction identities. These are the identities that, for example, we know sine looks like this. going up to positive 1 and down to negative 1. And that cosine looks like this. Well, this means that cosine can be expressed as a sine function that has been shifted pi over 2 to the left. Because this right here is pi over 2, 0, negative pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So if sine x is our red graph, this is going to equal the same thing as our cosine graph, but shifted pi over 2 to the left. And the way we can express this So we actually want to go back to our red graph and see where the cosine would start. Cosine's here, so that's a shift of pi over 2 to the right. So sine x equals cosine x minus pi over 2. Get sine x equals cosine x minus pi over 2. This means cosine is also a sine graph, just shifted. And we get cosine x equals sine x minus pi over 2, where these are our horizontal shifts. Okay, we find then that tangent, which looks like this, we can express this graph as a cotangent graph. If we were to reflect and shift. So first we want to reflect, which makes cotangent of negative x. And then we're going to shift pi over 2. Or we can write this as cotangent pi over 2 minus x. Tangent is equal to cotangent times pi over 2 minus x. And we see the same thing happens with cotangent. Cotangent is tangent of pi over 2 minus x. And in fact, if you really wanted to, you could rewrite these cofunction identities up above as pi over 2 minus x and pi over 2 minus 